So finally, the new UI from Cold Fusion. It's not 3D, it's Voxus. Hopefully you've seen the trailer already and you know what the UI is, but if you haven't, don't worry, I'm going to just run through it quickly before we get started. But first of all, what do you need to get this all running? The main things are Nova Launcher and the Voxus Setup Pack. This setup pack contains most of the things you need to get started on this UI. So before we continue, make sure you click on that link in the description and download the setup pack and follow along reading the readme file inside the setup pack. So what is new in this Voxus UI? Mainly a simpler design with less clutter, better performance and more practicality when compared to the old 3D UI. That being said, before you jump straight into setting up Voxus, you probably want to know what you're going to be getting. I put a lot of thought into how this all works together. The first screen contains 9 of your most crucial and most used apps, as well as the time and date. There's also a one touch music player at the bottom if you look carefully, so you have instant access to all your music. The next screen is for quick information at a glance. Here we have 4 simple text icons in the form of categories. When one category is pressed, a folder pops up with all your favourite apps included. It's important to note that before this point, simple text icons couldn't open folders by themselves. There's a special app called Folder Organizer that you need to do this, and we'll get to that soon. The third screen is what's most different from the last UI. At the top we have the time, and we've got the number of unread text messages and missed phone calls, and a weather forecast. On the next screen we have a news feed with live links that open in a browser of your choice. And finally, as we move to screen number 5, all we have here is a simple S-Note widget and some simple text. Unfortunately, this is for Samsung Galaxy Note phones only. Okay, enough of that, let's get started. First step, Nova Launcher. So let's run through my settings, so all you have to do is just select the same settings that you see here and then you should be okay. So moving on to Nova Launcher settings, the first section, Desktop. So for my desktop, I have 12 by 5 as a grid layout and my width margin is selected as none and my height margin likewise is also selected as none. Persistent search bar is selected as never so it's not on any of the home screens. For scroll effect I have card stack selected. Wallpaper scrolling I have selected as on. And this is just a precursor for multi-picture live wallpaper which we'll get to a little bit later. And infinite scroll, you can have this on or off according to your taste, but I've left it on here for this particular instance. And I've deselected label icons, so no labels show up on any of the icons. And probably one of the most important things about this is make sure widget overlap and overlap when placing are both selected. This is critically important. You need this selected or this will not work. Okay, cool. So let's move on to the next section, the app drawer. Let's see what settings I've gotten there. So for the drawer app grid size, I have 6x5 for portrait and for landscape I actually have 4x6. For the scroll effect I've actually gone ahead and chosen in out. And for the background transparency I kind of liked it uh, pretty much transparent but not all the way so you could just kind of see a little bit of a dark tint so I put that on 75% and for the draw style I've just left that as horizontal and I have included infinite scroll to be on and my draw groups, I didn't really worry about that. That's not that important, you can change that if you like. And I've gone and selected folders first, that's really not that important as well. And really for the advanced tabs, there's not much there to explore. So moving on to the next section, the dock. I have first and foremost disabled the dock, so the dock does not show up in any of the home screens. So those three first options avoid, and I've kind of just selected uh, to show the scroll indicator and the divider as well, and uh, nothing really in the advanced section. The next section, folders. So what have I got here? So for folders, I've gone ahead and uh, selected the transparency to be all the way to the top. And for the folder preview, I've selected a grid, and for the folder background, I have selected a square. So moving on to the next section, look and feel, let's see what I've got here. The colour theme, you can play around with that if you like, um, but there's not that much to say about it, it's just a colour. And for the icon theme, I've just selected the default. 
and for icon size this is pretty important. For the Galaxy Note 2 I've noticed that a size of 85% works probably best. For your phone this may vary. So screen orientation, I have gone ahead and selected the second one from the top which is auto rotate. And for the scroll speed I've selected these as all just the standard ones so uh, it's going to be Nova for scroll speed. For animation speed as well it's going to be Nova and for the app animation speed it's going to be just the system. You can change and play around with that if you so feel like uh, doing so but that's the ones that I chose and it looks uh, and feels great. And also show notification bar is unselected. Okay so moving on to the next section gestures and buttons. So basically what I've done here is I've enabled a uh, two finger swipe to access the app drawer. Now there's a whole bunch of things you can see in here that you can go along and play around with but the thing about this is most of them are only available in Nova Launcher Prime so that is a point to note. So you must actually get the full version in one way or another to actually uh, use this gesture to open the app drawer. But anyway let me show you how that looks like, this two finger swiped gesture to open the app drawer. So there you go, as you can see uh, as you swipe down it kind of just opens it and it's as simple as that and quite handy. So yeah that's pretty much it for Nova. So you can say uh, good riddance to Nova and let's move on to something else. So the next step is multi-picture live wallpaper. Let's go ahead and set that up. And by the way if you're wondering why there's a mouse on the screen it's not because I'm a wizard it's actually a Bluetooth mouse controlling this. It's pretty easy to set up. Anyway multi-picture live wallpaper let's see the settings I've gotten here. So in the common settings I have uh, changed my saturation uh, to 60%. I thought this gave more of a less contrasty look and was better for wallpapers in general. Back to the main settings, I've actually chosen my transition type to be fade, uh, a cross fade, sorry, because I thought this was going to stop all the errors with um, the flipping wallpapers and things like that, so uh, it's just a different style of transition basically. Um, I've left the reflections at the top and bottom, but that doesn't really matter in this case. Double tap to change pictures uh, highlighted. And it's also important to note that this time around I've actually chosen a specific wallpaper for each one of the home screens. So it's just a single file for the uh, picture source. So if you haven't thrown your phone at the computer screen yet, let's get started with placing these icons. So the main widget that we want to get started with is Ultimate Custom Widget. It's available from the Play Store and is the backbone for most of the widgets on this uh, UI. So most of the widgets will be inside the pack that I was describing earlier, the Voxus setup pack, so it's important that you've downloaded that and copied them according to the instructions in the readme file. Once they're all installed, you can go ahead and browse for them up in the top right corner of this application and once you've uh, installed them, then they just open up like that. So the first one we have here is the clock called Elegant and um, as described in the readme file, it's on the first home screen so all you have to do once you've installed it is pretty much just resize uh, it and just place it towards the top or wherever you, you see fit. And next you'll see all of these uh, uh, icons on the screen and um, this was done by just going and long pressing the home screen and selecting an icon say we want an internet browser so you can just go ahead and select boat browser and just note that the name will not show up on the icon because we selected that in Nova. So you go along to files and then our file manager which I'm using Astro here and then we can go along and browse to wherever we've copied the uh, icon from the icon pack that's in the description of this video. So um, once you've done that all you have to simply do is nothing more than to just hold and drag it to the position that you want like any other icon in any other launcher. So showing you that again, scroll down to the app we want, say we want a camera, just long press, edit, hold down and then scroll down to file, click the file manager, browse to the file and that's it. And keep repeating this step until you have nine of your favorite applications in your home screen just like you see here. The end result is pretty uniform and quite clean and I do enjoy this look quite a bit so uh, hopefully you enjoy that too. Moving along to the music player down the bottom, it's just a widget called Now Playing and I've chosen the larger size of the widget and you kind of just resize it and put it to where you want until you're happy. I hope you're hanging in there, I guess now's a good time as any to take a short break. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back. Hopefully you went for a jog or something. Who knows? All right, so let's move on to screen number two. So for this screen, the first thing we want to do is get our clean status bar widget up the top of the screen. So to do that, we just uh, long press and then go down to ultimate custom widget and then select the one we want, which once again will be inside the setup pack and then place it at the top of the screen just like that. And then now we must move along to how to get the folders coming out of the simple text icons. And we use an application called Folder Organizer. So let's take a look at that. So Folder Organizer is available from the Google Play Store. And once you've downloaded it from there, you can just use the two finger swipe gesture to get to it and then open it up. And this is what you do next. So you click down the bottom left hand corner and then you'll see a little label icon. And then all you have to do is select your label name. So I'm just gonna call this one Games 2. So once this is done, you click on the top left button and then search for the tab called Labels. Click on that and then search down to your custom name. So I've called this one Games 2, so you just click on that and then click on Apps and then select the applications that you want inside this folder. Once that's done, just click the tick at the top left hand corner and then you're set to go. Okay, so back to the home screen. So for screen number two, we're just gonna go and scroll down to our widget called Simple Text and select uh, the two by one. And then we go Simple Icon. And if you've imported it from my setup pack, you can just choose that one or you can make your own if you so wish. The only changes I've made since the last UI was to create a shadow and shift it to the left a little bit. So if you've done your own custom wording, you wanna go Save Style and this will save it for next time but we're just gonna go save icon so we can save it for this instance. And next it's gonna ask you to select an action. So when you click on that, we're gonna to go to shortcut and then select folder organizer folder link. And then we can scroll down and select our games to or whatever you called your uh, folder. And then resize your simple text widget, place it where you want. And then when you click on it, there you have your games folder. So just repeat these steps for each of the four simple text icons. Don't worry, it seems like a long process, but it's worth it and it's not as long as it initially seems. Okay, so next we're gonna have to get this little settings uh, icon happening. So I'll show you how to do that. You go into your apps and it's kind of like the other icons that we had before. So you go into applications and then um, you can click select multiple applications and select whatever whatever applications you want, I'm just selecting these four randomly and then you can add it to a folder, long click on it, edit and then click and browse to the file, I'm just going to screen through this and then uh, click on it and then there you have your folder now that is a custom icon. So that's screen number two. Screen number three is a lot easier than uh, the first two and it gets easier from here on in. So let's start. So screen number three is basically just three widgets and that's all it is. So the first thing we want to do is uh, set up this clock up the top and I'm going to rush straight through this. This is a widget called Minate Clock and it's uh, once again available and it's included inside the pack that I've put in the description along with this widget called Spring Home Light which is the second widget with the unread text and uh, missed call um, status. So you just resize both of those and uh, the third widget is called Eye in the Sky and it's available from the Google Play Store and as usual uh, you can there's a whole bunch of options in here that you can play around with if you so wish and this is why I said it was very important to get the overlapping um, checked on Nova settings because these widgets actually overlap each other to give that uh, tight look. Screen number four so this is basically just a, a widget and a simple text icon. So we have simple RSS widget from uh, the guys over at My Color Screen, and you can uh, select any of your RSS feeds. So you can add some in there or uh, anything that you are interested in. You can have the news rolling in. So all you have to do is just resize this widget. I've left out the simple text icon because it's simple enough. You just follow the steps that I said previously. And of course with the overlapping, you'll see that the actual text of the news overlaps this widget slightly. And make sure you choose your favorite browser to open up each news article. And that's pretty much it for this screen.
And last but not least, screen number five. So as usual, just ultimate custom widget, scroll down, get the widget that you want. So in this case, we're actually gonna go ahead with the Kate battery and obviously it's included in the pack. So just resize it and uh, to the size that you want. And then we're gonna include our S Note um, widget. So this is only for Galaxy Note users, unfortunately. So uh, for you guys, I've included a whole bunch of pictures that you can use as your widget within the uh, Voxer setup pack. So all you're gonna have to do is get one of those pictures and then open S Note, browse for the picture, and then upscale it to fill the entire note area. And then once you've selected your widget for S Note, you just select that uh, note document with the picture in it and it acts as a shortcut to your S Note application. So uh, there's a full there's a few cool ones that I've added in there that are pretty awesome, so check it out. And that rounds out the home screen customization. And just one last quick little word on the lock screen. So uh, for you guys wondering, this is widget locker and I'm in the edit mode as you can see by the top right hand corner. So I'm just going to get rid of this widget to uh, let you see a little clearer what I've done. So you can just go into your widgets, select your clock widget which is obviously included inside of the setup pack. You can just resize it and um, that's pretty much it. So um, obviously for the bottom I've kind of gone ahead and uh, used a custom unlocker. So for more details on this, I have a widget locker tutorial which I will include in the description. So go ahead and check that out to see how to get the unlocker and if you have any problems still uh, with the widget locker side of things. But apart from that, that pretty much rounds out the end of the Voxus UI. So thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. So hopefully your phone's looking awesome and if it's not, hopefully you can just go back and look over the steps and with the Voxus setup pack instructions, that should help you out a little bit. But if you do have any questions, uh, please post them below and I'll try and get back to you and help you out with some problems. And as a final side note, uh, this video did take me quite a lot of effort and time, so if you could share it, that would just be awesome. That's all I really ask. So thank you guys, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Something to spark your interest for those of you who stayed around till the end? In this bag, there's a new device. It's either an HTC One or a Samsung Galaxy S4. Which one is it? Find out next time.